Well, welcome to another of our words of encouragement. You know, one of the real frustrations in dealing with this time of COVID-19 is the need for physical distancing. Some people may call it social distancing because, of course, although we may be physically a little more distant than we used to be, we're called to be sociable, we're called to still have positive community relationships as best we can. And although life is different, there are so many examples, countless examples uh, in our nation and across the world of people stepping in and helping and caring and sharing. Uh, and, uh, and so we give thanks for positive communities in what is often very difficult and trying times for people. But we do feel the reality of not being able to relate as we used to, to not be able to give a hug to a loved one, for the need to keep distance is a strain, it's hard, it's difficult, it perhaps just doesn't feel right. You know, we're called to positive relationships. If we're too isolated, that can feel very wrong. If we uh, are living in an environment where we don't feel safe, that is very wrong. Some people at this time may be screaming, give me some space. Others may be screaming, give me some company. But we understand and value the importance of positive community. It should be a normal part of our life and lifestyles. And of course that is expressed wonderfully in a loving family unit. It's also expressed in, in clubs and societies, family and friends and networks, and of course in churches, as churches gather. And we feel uh, the strain of this as a local church as we long to meet face to face, to gather again. And we look forward to that day when we can. We have our Zoom services and different things that do our best to connect with people. But nothing beats meeting up face to face. Relationship is part of life. And this shouldn't surprise us. Why? Because God is the relationship. God is a family of three, Father, Son and Holy Spirit. It's what we call the Trinity. God is, is one God family in three persons, who is three persons. Father, Son, and Holy Spirit have always been there, always enjoyed each other's company, always will do. Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. You know, this Sunday is known as Trinity Sunday. And it makes me smile whenever I see that, because isn't every Sunday Trinity Sunday? And for the Christian, all of life is to be lived in a Trinitarian way, looking to that living God. You know, Jesus tells his disciples and he's also commissioning Christians as well through the ages. Therefore, go and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. It's a little section from the end of Matthew's Gospel, Matthew chapter 28. As he's saying, share me and my Father and my Spirit with the world. If we're not a people who look to God as Trinity, then we're not Christian. This God family is the one that we worship, we adore, and we enjoy. Relationships are part of life. Because all relationships, all good, positive relationships, flow out of the God who made this world, the God who calls us to have relationships, the God who loves us and calls us to love one another. You know, hanging around with people who care, and share and want to be with us, want to spend time with us. You know, it's a real joy, isn't it? It's a real privilege from the best things in life. And you know, hanging around with the living God who delights in your company, who wants you just to spend time with him, who wants you to enjoy him. You know, we find our security, our identity and our value best when we look to the Father, Son and Holy Spirit. You know, Jesus, before he went to the cross, said a prayer to the Father, and he was praying for people back then, but he's also praying for Christians through the ages. 
And he wants them to have the kind of relationship that he enjoys with the Father, united in love and affection. And he prays this. This is part of his prayer. And you can read the prayer in John's Gospel, chapter 17. This is what Jesus says. That all of them may be one, Father, just as you are in me and I am in you. May they also be in us, so the world may believe that you have sent me. You see the connection? We connect with God, and as we connect with God, we're going to better connect with one another. We don't become God, but we relate to God, and that helps us be positive people in God's world. You know, we want to have the best kind of relationships that we can have in our families, with friends, neighbourhoods, wherever we are, work colleagues, whatever the relationship context we find within our lives. We want that for ourselves, we want that for others. That's why it's important that we speak out against abuse and exploitation. That's why it's important that we model out kindness and forgiveness, thoughtfulness and care, Hard to do that when people wind us up. That's what we see in so many ways across our world. People helping one another. And that's what we're called to be like, called to be about. You know, at the end of this dreadful time of COVID-19, we should and we must value relationships and put them up there on the highest pedestal. Relationship matters because God, who is the relationship, matters most and because of him then out of the overflow of that comes caring and sharing in his world as a local church we long to meet again face to face as I've said you know I've got no idea at this stage when that will be or what that might look like but I do know this I'm glad that God is here I'm glad that God is the relationship that he is Father, Son and Holy Spirit I'm glad that those persons are there for us, to bless us, encourage us, strengthen us. And that we're never alone because that living God is with us. Spend time with God. With the Father, with the Son, and with the Holy Spirit. Life is not ideal right now. It's not as it should be. And we know that. And we feel that. And that affects our relationships to some degree. But let's not just have a Trinity Sunday. Let's be a Trinity people who look always to the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, the God we worship and adore, the God that loves us and carries us into our future, and the God that calls us to be a people who bless those around us. Good relationships. Amen.